<laughs> writing a letter to somebody. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, Trevor, it's it's good to hear your voice as always. It's always a pleasure to hear from you of all people. Um, am I understanding it correctly that you are now unemployed? Yeah. Yeah. What what what's up with that? How can how, how can a man of your great skill uh, and a very impressive resume be unemployed? I don't get it. it I don't think my resume is that impressive. That's that's probably part of the problem. It's it's not easy. Well, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. It's just it's not it's just not not that easy. Well, I, I think what's interesting about you is there's obviously a widespread unemployment. You know, over I think I was reading an article not that long ago that in January there were like 170,000 Canadians that lost their job, uh, but none of them walked across the country. You know what I'm saying? Uh, unemployment is a big factor, but uh, is the problem uh, this recession, this economy in your situation, or is the problem you? Uh, I think a little of both. Uh, probably more of the the latter than the the first. Um, are you recording this? <laughs> I'm making notes, sir. You're making notes. Oh God, no, I didn't really want that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it's 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 got to do with me walking across Canada. You know, I did leave a job that I loved. Um, when I came back, that job was there. Um, my desire to be out in the road interfered with that job directly. Um, just the emotional burden of, of what I went through and, and what I still want to go through in wanting to complete it. So I ended up leaving that job. Uh, a friend enticed me to come back to where I used to work years ago, um, being that they were having so much problems because there was so much work and they wanted, uh, staff was coming and going so quickly, they wanted somebody there to train staff. So that was my job. Uh, the company, that company that I left, it, it was uh, not a very good company to me, and that's why I left originally. My uh, friend said, uh, you know, you know, things things have changed, and 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 it looked like it did. Um, a lot of their tactics and handling the employees uh, were good. Uh, good incentives and everything to, uh, and they valued their employees a lot more. So I'm thinking, well, this is great. Um, since the economic downturn, um, they are showing less value to the employee. They wanted really, really top-notch employees and putting a lot more pressure on the employees they had. Uh, my role by then was supervisor. Um, some of the stuff they were asking me to do, I just really do, don't want to be doing. And I found uh, that this company was showing its true colors, um, which I I got my own colors. Huh. So um, shy of an FU letter, I left. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, uh... it, it, and, and that's you know it's it's quite insightful to me. Um, puts me to one heck of a predicament right now. Um, discovered who I was, and and really I was more pressured to take a job that I probably shouldn't have. Um, I I became a different person on the road, and since I left, I've been losing that person slowly. As um, you know, I'm, it's just been drained away from me. I want to be that person. I, I want a dynamic job that nurtures who that is of me um well, that's, gonna so a, that's, that's gonna be a tough spot for you because can any job really compete with like walking no. across the country and meeting all sorts of interesting people and and being and doing something uh, proactive for a cause you believe in what job can do that it's not a job <laughs> that's 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 really volunteering there isn't and you know if i could do that for the rest of my life i would um Unfortunately, if I want to go and do this, do a trip like that again and again and again, um, I have to work again and again and again. Um, and I don't ha have the answer how I could possibly get out there. I value that job so, so much. Um, there are jobs that are like that out there. And I know I'm qualified for it. 
um, of who I am, but that's not on paper. And that's what I was saying. Um, you know, my re resume doesn't represent me well. No, but I imagine, I mean, if, if I was an employer and I was looking across the table from you and I had two uh, candidates applying for the same job and one, you know, had a pretty standard resume, had some relevant experience and the other one had kind of similar experience uh, and had also walked across the country. Isn't that a no brainer? You think. You're saying um, maybe not. I don't know. Uh <laughs> Although I'm, I'm just new into the job hunt, uh, a week and a half into it, uh, I put out oh, probably about 15, applied to 15 different places, and um, you know, no call back. What kind of uh, what kind of places does someone who walked across the country apply at? <laughs> uh, can I look that up for a moment? <laughs> Well, I mean, are we are we talking like regular everyday service jobs, or are we, are we talking about well, stuff that was similar to like? The I, I can't do that, you know. Um, I mean, a, a lot of it was, you know, physical instructor, um, child help, you know, um, work camps and stuff like that. Um, I mean, there's really not much for me. Um, I don't even know what to say. You know, there, there's the jobs that I'm really want would be like an eco tourist, um, some 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 kind of involvement in education. Uh, I've been applying, and I probably put three resumes down to the Calgary Zoo. Um, but you know, it's as qualified as I am. I'm not qualified. All right, and in their eyes, anyway. Yeah, you know, and. Um, heck is going on here sorry i'm trying to type that's, in something that's okay uh i mean obviously i mean just, that, that's just it i mean you go to you, you try to apply at places you try to get jobs at place and it's hard to go i mean you're already having struggles going from the road life to regular life and then to kind of trying to fit another job into that and kind of be a regular person i mean that's almost impossible isn't it um i've done a lot of impossible things but i uh, it's it's actually amazing that i i did do as well as it did so quick you know um once I did get back and settle down a little bit, but I thank my friend for that. You know, I was uh, in December, and I'll, I'll be honest, an emotional breakdown. You know, I wanted that pace. I programmed myself to have that pace day after day after day. You know, as much as there was struggle, there was rewards. Um. And I'm getting my a strange echo, so I'm going to try to adjust my mic here. No problem. Um, I guess um, who who can blame you for having a breakdown like that um, after everything you went through, and you know the adjustment to regular life and uh, trying to uh, fit in. I mean, that would be tough for anyone, given what given what you went through. I'm just you know I think this is really interesting because you have a situation on your hands where everyone's facing the prospect of unemployment. A lot of people are getting laid off. A lot of people are going to be doing everything they possibly could to hold on to their jobs without financial security, and then. You know, they might look at someone like you and saying, well, if he has a job, if he wants one, but he's just like, like you said, he's writing an FU letter instead of sticking with it, but they haven't it wasn't quite. It wasn't quite an FU letter. I was shy of it. Um, I did say that they pissed me off, um, but that's, that's something else there. Um, it, it, it's just not for me, you know, that kind of stuff. It's just, you know, they're, you're, you're asking a salmon to fly. You know what I mean? It's it it has a drive in it to do something amazing. You know, swim and leap up waterfalls. But you can't ask it to fly away. If that makes any sense at all. No, it I, I, it does. But I, I guess I guess there are a lot of people that you know feel that you know uh, they want to be an actor, or they want to be a writer or something. But you know, reality you know gets them a big bonk in the head, and they're like, oh, I got to work at McDonald's. I might have to work in McDonald's, you know, but I'm, I'm still reaching for the higher goal. Um, you know, if I have to go to McDonald's, that's, that may be the end result for a while. Um, but I won't be there for long. You know, what I, what I really want to do is to do, put those qualifications down on paper that I do have. 